It's time for us to go through building a railjack. I don't know exactly where this is going to go in my series just yet. Technically, you can start this once you have finished the second dreams. That's basically like from Mars onwards. However, I really don't recommend doing it that early. From what I remember, it used to be like really expensive to do this. We're just going to come in here. We're going to search for Cephalon. It's just C-E-P-H should be enough. And we're looking for this, the Railjack Cephalon Blueprint. This should start the Rising Tide quest for us once we get this complete. Now, I seem to remember this being expensive, but when I looked at the wiki... It seems like the cost and time has been reduced. So let's take a look at this. Let's come to I'm going to assume it's in miscellaneous. Yeah, there we go. Railjack Cephalon. It's going to take me 10 minutes. Okay, let's skip forward. With that complete, let's go ahead and claim it. Operator, messages have arrived in your inbox. Okay, then. So once you have gotten your Cephalon blueprint made, if you make Rising Tide your active quest, it'll actually show you where you can go for a dry dock on the system. So let's just go ahead and go to the Cronia Relay here, just so I can show it to you guys. And when you get here, you'll get a nice nav point which shows you where the actual public dry dock is. You can see what the tile looks like just ahead of us. Probably gonna be nothing there right now. We're gonna install it. Um, the tile looks exactly the same. When you go into a clan and do this, it just probably will be a bit more decorated. Hello, I am okay, so now we're gonna have to find all of the different parts. So we're gonna leave the relay. Okay, so we're off to Ares on Mars. Let's go ahead and get the first part. This is going to feel a lot like building the Arcwing, where we're going to be going out, grabbing a new piece, getting it built. I believe, according to the wiki, it used to take, I think it was like a day for each part. But I think they've made it like a minute instead, much like they did with Limbo, which is rather nice. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to get this clear. Probably could have bought Nova for this. Something has nested in the fuel intakes. Let's go. Astro frame integrity, 87%. Components, viable. Cephalon Ortis, rendezvous with Tenno at extraction point. So with that done, we should be able to get out of here and build a first part. There are going to be some materials that we need to talk about because there's going to be some new materials. I say new materials, they're probably not going to be new. You should have already picked some up if you've been following the series. I don't think we need that many. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go back to a dry dock so that we can install the fuselage. I'm going to go to my clan one now, just because I can. Oh, then once you're here, let's give some of this. Hey, 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 we've got something growing. There's nothing expensive here. I think I am going to put this where we're in the chronological order, so we're going to be doing this after you get to Eris, and I'm going to justify this in a second as to why. So that's building. It's going to take literally a minute. Okay, let's let that build. Okay, so once it's built, it's time for us to leave. In any case, let's go and look at the nav chart for a moment. So just for a frame of reference, in my opinion, the enemies we're facing here are the very first mission were in their 30s. So that's like, that is Eris level enemies, which means even though you get access to it here, you really shouldn't be doing this quest until you are at least here, which is quite a bit. So pretty happy with that. In any case, time for us to move on to the next part. We're going to do this and I'm going to switch to Nova. Okay, so this is the build I'm going to be rocking with. We really don't need, like, mega high power strength, so we're doing intensify and power drift. This is going to give us a maximum slowdown. You actually want negative range, because that's going to allow you to maintain your null star easier, and then just as much duration as you can get, because that's basically what makes this build work. Molecular fission, so that we basically got unlimited null star, so long as we keep killing stuff that's primed, that's basically going to mean that we are permanently on minus 80% damage. Anyways, you're going to be slowed. And that's going to make this entire thing way easier. On to the next part, which is going to be on Earth. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we've arrived. Let's demonstrate. Nova should make this literally child's play. So as you can see, nice little Nova here, just uh, having fun. Really, it's not even a not even a thought. So give it a minute, and we'll be done. Well, so with that done, it's basically going to be rinse and repeat. Let's go and get this one started. Okay, another mission, another installation. It's coming on nicely. <laughs> the hardest thing there is Creotic, but that's that's not even hard. Five carbides, so cheap. Okay, two minutes and that's finished. Uh, I don't know if we have to wait here or not. I'm gonna I'm gonna test waiting on my ship. Let's uh, let's give that a go. I guess while I'm waiting, I probably should say, basically, I got all of my carbides. Well, not all of them. That's that's unfair. Um, basically, as you're moving your way around, you'll probably find you're getting cubic diodes and carbides as you come around, particularly on Ceres and Jupiter. You should be getting carbides and the cubic diodes on both of these planets. And whilst I was running Naglar, getting some mods, that's where I got all of mine from. I got thousands in here because it was just... I had to run it so often to get the two mods that I wanted from here that it all came from Eris. So run this area and you really shouldn't be struggling. Must have that real 
and now we can move over to the next part. That's good. So yeah, anywhere on Eris, pretty much, apart from Zinni, which is kind of annoying because Zinni's where you want to go for, uh, for relics. It's a shame we can't do two things at once there, but either of the two dark sectors will be really good for getting the uh, the materials that you might be missing. At this point, then, all we need to do is rinse and repeat. There will be, I think it's three or four different parts that will lead us around different parts of the system as we collect more and more parts to feed into the railjack. Once we have all of them done, we will eventually be sent on a mission to grab the reliquary. Okay, let's retrieve the key. Now, I believe we've do Chains of Hallow before this. Like when we heard the hey kiddo thing before we started this, uh, that'll kind of have more meaning to you, but we haven't done that as a part of the series yet, so. I don't really know if I'm going to continue all of the story stuff. You can pretty much just follow it all now, which is real good because there's lots of stuff we can get out of the story quests. Um, we definitely still need to do a little bit more because we need to unlock the amps. We don't we don't have the ability to change the amp yet. There's absolutely no point in, I mean, absolutely is, is probably a bit extreme, but there's not as much point in pursuing the open world areas until we've got full control of the equipment for the operator, so. Stop. Something. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's place the uh, key into the reliquary. Something moves. An infinite zero. Impossible. Perception failure. Recalibrating. All systems clear. Reactor online. Whatever you did. Okay, so this is basically a whole entire extra system for us to explore. Works pretty much in the same way, so we start on Earth here. And you can see we have various missions. These are going to be the nodes, these little circles you can see. Quite a few of them that are available for us. There's things we can get out here. There's a drone, at least one drone, at least one Warframe. And you kind of need, I think, Saturn unlocked so you can deal with Nemesis. So you really do need to get a lot of this done before we can start unlocking even more stuff. But I think it's best if I leave progressing through this system as well as upgrading your Railjack for the next episode.